Hello everybody. So today we're going to be talking about a refrigerator or a refrigeration device. Um, we all have a pretty good idea of what a refrigerator does. It's the same thing we have in our house, right? So I might take um, something at room temperature or something that's hot, right? And put it in my refrigerator. And what my refrigerator in turn does is take that um, hot uh, thing and cools it down by removing that heat from the cold area and dumping it outside. Um, if you ever go to like the back of your refrigerator, right? You might find that um, you, there's some heat coming out of the back, right? That's the, the, the expelled heat being um, pushed out from the refrigerator. So our diagram for a refrigerator, our simplified diagram, is just gonna be this. Um, so we have our, our low temperature reservoir, our high temperature reservoir, and then what did I say that the fridge was doing? It's taking the heat from the low temperature reservoir and dumping it to a higher temperature reservoir, right? So the heat flow moves like this. And this would be our QL and our QH, right? Also, that being said, this is, this is violating the second law, right? Because naturally, um, um, heat flows from hot to cold, right? So we have to put some work in there for it to be able to break the second law. And that's gonna be our W and N, right? Um, using this equation, um, equating, so everything going in is equal to everything going out, right? So I can go ahead and say that my Q dot L plus my work dot net is equal to my Q dot H, right? That's an equation we can use. And one thing you'll notice, basically, this is basically the same thing that we have for a heat pump, right? It's, it's sort of doing the same thing, right? But um, there's something called the coefficient of performance, as you know, with the heat pump. It's sort of like the efficiency, but we get a number generally greater than one. Um, this coefficient of performance just shows us how well the refrigerator is doing at pulling this heat from the cold area and moving it to the hot area, right? Um, that being said, the coefficient of performance of a um, heat pump is equal to um, the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator plus one. So that being said, um, heat pumps are generally, I don't want to use the word more efficient, uh, the term more efficient than than a refrigerator, but if you remember this formula, you'll be good. Uh, let me just double check myself. Yes, that's it. Um, another thing we need to know, since we're talking about coefficient of performance, is the coefficient of performance for a refrigerator is simply, oh wow, is simply um, desired output over required input, right? So our desired output for a refrigerator is our QL. We want that cold temperature, right? Or that cold, well, not really cold heat, but our desired output is that QL, right? Um, our, our, our required input is simply that work net. And we know that work net is equal to Q dot H minus Q dot L. So that being said, the coefficient of performance for a refrigerator is simply equal to Q dot L over Q dot H minus Q dot, Q dot L. Um, I really think that's really all you need to know about a refrigerator. Um, again, if you didn't understand anything I said, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and let's keep learning thermal. Thank you.